So I just got back. We uh, were out working with cattle. Such a cold day. Minus uh, today it was minus 24, minus 25, and the wind picked up this afternoon. So I am just froze to the bone. We were semen testing bulls. Uh, for, we have a bull sale coming up on Sunday, uh, March the 10th. So uh, we got that work done. Andre had to leave halfway through um, for some business and he came back. Uh, he was given a gift of from one of her neighbors. So uh, ah, my nose is red because of the cold but also because of the sweet drink. Um, I just sat down, I just swept the shed of bees, and I just sat down to my desk, and this come across my screen. Hi Ian, on your latest video, Easy Into March, you talked about signs of stress in the bees. What are those signs to be aware of? <clears throat> Do you find these only in indoor wintering bees, or are the stress signs the same as outdoor wintering hives also? Depending on the stress signs, what do you do about them? Thanks so much, Barbara. So I'm just going to take a walk through my shed just to point out a few things that I'm seeing. Uh, for the most part, my hives are calm and clean. We're just walking into March here, so things will start to change. But um, I'll show you... Uh, I've had a few questions about what I mean by blowouts, so I'll show you some of my hives that have blown out. Um, I'll show you a starved hive that I've identified as starved just right by the entrance. I have some condensation issues and you're not going to see it so much now but later on as I uh, make my assessments through the shed as we get later later into winter as we're approaching spring I'll show you what I mean by um, running bees. They just they just you know, start running on the front when there's any sign of activity in the shed. They just come out and just, just start. Can't keep them in the boxes. They just got to get out. They got to fly. I tried to say to my shed as much as I possibly can. I find that when I first walk into the shed and I, everything is absolutely quiet, absolutely still. But uh, be it the white light from my phone or my headlight or just, you know, my breath, the carbon dioxide and such. Uh, just by walking down the aisle, you can hear the bees just kind of wake up, tremble a little bit. Um, so I try to stay out of the shed as much as I can just to prevent the bees from breaking that calmness in the cluster, especially this time of year when I want them to be as neat and tight and tucked into the hive as, as they can, undisturbed. But I'm just going to show you some of the hives that I've identified so far. Here's a hive that's run into... Uh, gut issue called a spotting. These guys have blown out. So what's going on is these bees have some kind of gut infection, and what's and they can't defecate unless they fly. So they're coming out to the front entrance and they can't fly because it's dark, and they you know they poop all over the front on the bottom board, and then they probably fly off and die. So this hive is in a lot of trouble. Likely won't live. Anytime I see this is a sign of extreme stress because they have a gut infection. And what it is, I'm not sure. It could be a yeast infection. It could be uh, they didn't cure their feed properly. Maybe um, the feed is spoiling on them. It's, it could be a number of things. I'm not sure. But this is what I mean by blowing out the bees. So they, can't, they can't hang on anymore. They go to the front and they poop on, the front, on their front step. It's kind of like if you have a, uh, a gut ache, if you have diarrhea or something, and you know what it feels like, you gotta go and you just blow out, right? Same thing with the bees. These guys are getting a little bit stirred up because I am in here. Now these guys stay nice and calm. Typically when I first come in here, uh, the shed is dead calm. Um, I walk the aisles and these guys get stirred up a little bit and it might be the white light from the camera or it's probably for the carbon dioxide from my breath that they smell and it kind of gets them stirred up a little bit. For the most part the entrances are clean which is really good. 
uh, nice and calm. That's what I like to see. Here's a hive that I would identify as starved out. Uh, it's hard to identify these because well, you can't see what's going on inside. But what I'm predicting is have what's happened here is I can see a mass of dead bees all the way along the bottom, kind of falling down. It's almost like they've fallen down. And what I think's going on in here is the cluster probably starved and then fallen onto the bottom board. So that's what I'm look looking at. So I anticipate when we get into this box this spring, I anticipate a cluster hanging on the comb and a big mass of mold. It's unfortunate, I'm gonna mark this with a tag there just to see when I come across it after I set them out to see if I was right. Most likely what's going on there. Looking at my nukes and they're starting to disappear from the bottom. So they're starting to move up. These guys are a lot smaller. Pretty consistent all the way across. So they're, they're all moving up on me. I hate it when they move up where I can't see them. You can still see those guys. Can't see those guys. I definitely can hear them. That stirred them up. Oh man. Just walking the aisles. I'm seeing calm bees. See, these guys are just calm as cucumbers. In the spring, when I mean runny bees, I'm going to show you later on in spring when it comes, but these bees, when they start to lose patience, uh, they want out and fly like they've had enough of being inside. These guys will just, and it starts to warm up in the shed and they can smell that spirit of spring. They'll actually actively go onto the front and just kind of run around and then drift onto the floor. It's so frustrating. I'm not seeing any of that right now. Okay, so I have a condensation issue in this hive. The bottom board is wet with dead bees. It looks like dripping honey there, if you can see that. So what's likely going on in here, there's likely a hive still alive in here, uh, kicking off humidity. It's not expelling properly. Uh, there's probably open cells of feed that didn't get cured properly, and then pack it away. And honey being hygroscopic and such, it'll take on the moisture. And I'm thinking what's going on in here is the uh, the honey is fermenting within the cell and then dripping down onto the bottom board. So that is a terrible sign. Uh, this feed, the feed it probably is spoiling inside of this colony, which makes terrible winter feed. Uh, so if these guys have to access that feed before they get out, um, it could cause a lot of trouble. It could cause dysentery, maybe some of the problems were, that we're seeing on the front of the hive like the spotting issue there. See, there's there's a sign of bees kind of running a little bit. See how they're just kind of running? That's a sign of stress. They'll just do that. They'll run around. They'll likely defecate on the front, drift off onto the floor. If you see a lot of hives doing this while they're inside, that's a bad sign. They got to get outside. They got to fly. They got to relieve themselves because there is an issue with this hive. But I haven't seen any hives doing that other than this one. Everything is quiet. A few big ones is gathered down in the front. So Barbara, that's about all I can show you. That's all that's going on within my shed right now. As winter progresses here, as we get closer to spring, I'm gonna start seeing more signs of stress and I'll relay that uh, through my videos here too. Um, I am really happy that I'm having trouble finding examples to show you of stress within my shed, but uh, it's coming and I'll be sure to show you.